Good morning and happy Sabbath. My name is Aileen and I am so happy to be sharing God's word with each of you, hoping that I can speak to each of our hearts. Let us pray. Beloved mighty God of salvation and life, before you I place my heart to be used by you at this moment. Prepare the hearts here today to receive your word. In the mighty name of Jesus, amen. Has anyone here ever gone camping? I have. Well, then you should know that it doesn't that that it does not matter if you are big or small. If you must leave your tent at midnight, you must always look for your flashlight and always look look for your and always ask someone to come with you. Have you ever wondered why? Either for fear of the dark or to avoid accidents. You can fall into a hole, slip, or even get bitten by an animal. A handheld flashlight will help you avoid those things get, that can hurt you. If you must choose between walking in the dark or walking in the light, which would you choose? Correct. Uh, to ex for a little exa here's a little example of why I you why you could choose light, I or why you could choose dark. Once on my home, you at my home, Utila Bay Islands, and I, was sleep, me and my sister was sleeping in my bed in our our mom's old bed, and we, and it was nighttime, and there was a blackout. It was so dark, super dark, that you couldn't eat, you can put your hand in front of you and wiggle your finger, wiggle your fingers, and you could not see. Me and my sister waited it out until the lights came back on. We felt some security and confidence and peace. And that's why you should know that darkness can cause uncertainty, fear, or misfortune, while light can give security and confidence. Zach and Nate, may you, can you please read John 1, 6 through 9? It's up on the screen for you. God sent a man, John the Baptist, to tell everyone about the light so that everyone might believe just because of his testimony. John himself was not the light. He was simply a witness to tell everyone about the light. The one who was the true light, who gives light to everyone, was coming into the world. Correct. Thank you. And now I'm going to pass on the rest of this lesson to my best friend and most trusted fellow adventurer, Arabella. To explain this verse, we are going to need to do the following activity. And for this, I need a flashlight, a mirror, and a volunteer. Thanks a lot. If you take the flashlight and shine it towards me, and I put the mirror in front of me, you will realize that the light can be reflected in the mirror. And through the mirror, I can reflect the light on you. So let's do it. Can you see it? Super interesting, isn't it? While doing this at home, I learned two lessons. First, for what I just did to happen, I had to keep the mirror in front of the light. If I had turned my back and I were not facing the light, I can't reflect it. Secondly, I have to verify that nothing and no one stands between me and the light. If that happens, I can't reflect the light. The Bible tells us in the previous verse that John was not the light, even though he was a young man who loved Jesus very much and was also loved by Jesus. John was not the light. John was a mirror, just as the mirror only reflects the light. Light is a source of energy. Likewise, for a Christian, his source of light was Christ. We must reflect the light that we received from Jesus to the world so they can stop living in darkness. Dear adventurers, our friends need that light. Our neighbors need it. Our parents also need it. You need it in your life. 
You and I have to allow our light to shine, but we need to remember that our light is Jesus. We are not the light. We are just mirrors that reflect his light. So this morning, I want you to remember two things. Number one, you must always keep facing Jesus. The closer you are to him, the brighter you will shine. Number two, you must always keep, you don't let anything be placed between you and God. Adventures and church family. Every day we make decisions, and today is a day to make the decision to show others the light that gives us hope and life. As Jesus said, let your light shine before all, that they may see your good works and praise your Father who is in heaven. What do you choose? Will you walk in the light or in the dark? Let us pray. Dear Lord, help us to choose the right thing and walk in the light. In Jesus' name we pray, amen.